All right. It's so Reggie here, 10 minute tech reviews. So you got the S7 Edge or the Galaxy S7. Or you got the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus. And now it's S9 and S9 Plus season. Well, I hate to say it. If you got this S7, S7 Edge, yeah, makes sense to upgrade. But if you got this, honestly, the worst thing you could do is listen to the overhype about the S9 Plus. I'll explain what I mean coming up in this video. Check it out. All right, again, Reggie here, 10 Minute Tech Reviews, where we review all things tech in 10 minutes or less. So, what did I mean by that? Well, again, I always start out the videos saying it's my opinion. So, let's first talk about the S7 Edge. This still is a great phone, great phone. You can usually pick these up on, in places like Swappa, Craigslist, even eBay. You can probably get this phone for maybe $200 maybe 250 and it's a great Samsung phone all right let me go over the quick nerd specs for the S7 Edge all right it's a 5.5 inch quad HD Super AMOLED screen it's got uh, Android 7.0 Nugget if you're lucky you could have been upgraded to oh no never mind no you're still a Nugget <laughs> you got 32 gigs of onboard storage you can, of course, has the expandable memory. Snapdragon 820, four gigs of RAM, fingerprint sensor on the front, 3600 milliamp battery, does do quick charging. It's a great phone. It really is. But let's face it, guys are going to go out, people are going to go out and listen to all these new reviews already about the S9 and the S9 Plus. I shout out guys on my channel all the time, and I always tell you guys to check them out, but guys like Jay Williams, Tech Valor, The Tech Couple, Sean Be Nice, Technically T, Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Those guys... And also Ace. We are kind of smaller YouTubers and we are gonna give you the real when it comes to these products. Not sponsored by Samsung. Most of us purchase these out of our own pockets. But guys, if you've got the S7 Edge or S7, it does make sense to upgrade if that's what you wanna do. But you don't have to be fooled to think that if you have the S8 Plus or the S8, that you have to upgrade because you really don't. Now, what are the nerd specs on the S8? 6.2 inch quad HD Super AMOLED screen. It's got Android 7.0 Nugget, hoping for an upgrade. We talked about that before, but you're only on Nugget. 64 gigs onboard storage, expandable memory, 4 gigs of RAM, 3500 milliamp battery, slightly smaller than the S7 Edge, does do, does do quick charging, and it's a beautifully built phone. But every year phones come out, usually the successors to the previous model, and a lot of times people think, oh my goodness, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. But again, let's be realistic about this. When it comes to what Samsung is doing now, you really don't have to. And that is the case, in my opinion, with the S8 or the S8 Plus or the S8. There's no reason that you have to upgrade this phone. Now I know what some people are gonna say, but Wait, 10-minute tech, 
What are you talking about? This new S9, they moved the fingerprint scanner. Okay. And, and now you got dual cameras if you get the S9 Plus. Okay. But for the average user, this phone can actually get them through until they absolutely have to upgrade to possibly maybe the S10, S10 Plus, or whatever they decide to call it. No reason to upgrade. Now, us as techies will probably go out and get it because we want to get it and we want to review it and we want to give you guys all the information that you need on there so it helps you make a conscious decision about the phone. And if you're just that person who has to have the latest and greatest and the new phone, then by all means, go out and grab it. However, if you want to be realistic, if anybody asks me, I always state it with, in my opinion, if you've got this, you don't need the S9 or the S9 Plus. This phone is still a great phone to me. Now, I use my phones every day. This particularly, this particular phone happens to be my work phone. Um, you can see I have, you know, tons of apps loaded on this phone. You know, the phone itself still runs good to me. Now, do I get lag every now and again? Yes, I do. I get that on any phone. I expect that. Sometimes do I get it in the most inopportune spots? Yeah, sometimes. And it's frustrating. But overall, the phone itself is still a great phone. Pictures are great. Point and shoot pictures. That double click. That world star video, as they say. It's still good. Nothing, nothing wrong with this phone. So the main point of this video is just to let you know you don't have to run and get the latest and greatest if you have this. But if you got this, even though this still, in my opinion, is a great phone, still runs very well, very fast. You know, <laughs> most people, as you hear in the background, we may not need it, but we still want it. But the point is, if you have to upgrade, maybe if you're on maybe Galaxy Forever and you have to upgrade, then yeah, I get it. Go ahead, upgrade to the latest and greatest. But if it's time for a new phone and you've held on to this for two iterations through the S8 and now you're at the S9, yeah, it makes sense. Go ahead and upgrade to the S9 Plus. But again, you don't have to give up your S8 or your S8 Plus. The phones are still great and they still perform magically. Yes, the Snapdragon 845 processor that they're touting in the S9 and S9 Plus. Yes, will it be faster? I don't know. Could it be? Possibly. But to the average consumer, you will not notice the speed difference from this phone to the S9. Again, fingerprint scanner placement's been moved. Dual cameras, if you get the plus version, you got the slow-mo, super slow-mo function. Yeah. The price is right. They priced the phone, I think, fairly. However, you don't necessarily have to upgrade. So that was just me giving you just a little bit about if you had this, yes, yes, S7. Edge, S7, you can move on. S8, S8 Plus, no, you don't have to. Again, as I end all my videos, I always wanna give a shout out really quick to my family. Thank you for all your support, allowing me to do this. Make sure you guys check out a lot of the guys that I follow and subscribe to. I always shout them out all the time. Technically T, Sean B. Val, uh, Sean B. Nice. Tech Valor, I almost ran those names together. The Tech Couple. My man Ace, Jay Williams, and Eric, and the Easy Computer Solutions team. Guys, always, always say, make sure you check out Saturday Night Tech Talk, 
Today is Saturday, so there will be a show tonight. Make sure you check out Saturday Night Tech Talk, place to come and talk all things tech, and some other stuff. And of course, Wednesday night, we always have Wine Wednesday. You guys can come hang out and chat with the panel there. Those ladies on Wine Wednesday are great. So, last thing, you can follow me. Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook, all with the tags of 10 Minute Tech and 10 Minute Tech Reviews. Make sure, as usual, that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also share this out for anybody who's also interested in the opinions on should you or should you not upgrade and the reasons too. Again, this is your boy Reggie. 10 minute tech reviews, my opinions on why you should or shouldn't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.